This video is brought to you by Multizone, where you can get your comics, board games, and card games all in one place. Visit multizone.ca and enter Easterling as a promo code to save 10% on your next order. Today I'm painting another boss from Project Elite, and this one is Naga. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. This is Naga from Project Elite, and she is primed with necrotic flesh from the Army Painter. So we're starting off with a contrast paint over this one, which is dark oat flesh. I don't normally use contrast paints over uh, these kind of primers, but because she's a snake, uh, I wanted to do a little different and get those scales to come out a little bit more as highlights underneath. And uh, yeah, so Naga is an interesting looking creature, has some like armor and stuff on her, uh, weird looking face. I mean, this is uh, an interesting boss looking lady here. I don't know if we'd want to face this thing up in the game. All right, we're moving on with a little bit of dry brushing of Desert Yellow from the Army Painter. And we're also moving closer to 100 subscribers on the channel. I want to thank you all for your recent support. Thank you so much. Please, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Now we're using Hardened Carapace, which is from the Army Painter. And this one was a little bit more watered down, so it takes a few coats, which people are telling me is actually a better thing than having too much uh, paint on your brush or too thick. So I kind of went with it. I mean, all right, so it's a little pale and you come back over once it dries and it, give you, it doesn't lose the details that way, I'm told. And here's a paint that keeps coming back in this game. It's Tentacle Red, which is a unique color from Zombie Side Invader paint set from the Army Painter. This is going to be for her tongue and some parts on her neck. Uh, there, uh, this Tentacle Red, I hope I can find some more later on or often try and create my own because I'll run out soon. Now I'm going to do these like parts in between her scales on the front of her body, which is with Lava Orange from the army painter uh, because on the artwork she had like this glowing orange coming out through her chest area so I just want to do a little bit of that uh, I come back to the hardened carapace because I forgot to do like all the like uh, higher scale parts of her the rest of her tail or whatever so we came back and did that All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit more dry brushing with some Underdark Gray, which is a unique color from the D&D's Marvelous Pigments paints from the Army Painter. And this is gonna go on top of the Hardened Carapace, just so that it gets the highlighted raises and it's not too, too dark. So that is Naga all painted up and ready to get her slitterings on and go attack those heroes. Thank you for watching and get your miniatures to the table. 